drastic move from a president on the verge of being removed. Right-wing Guillermo Lasso disbanded Ecuador's parliament and called early elections, stopping his impeachment process and causing a serious political crisis in the country. Ecuador needs a new political and social pact to allow it to escape from the serious political crisis the country is in and which unfortunately is getting worse day by day. We need to move forward to a solution that can give hope to Ecuadorian families for a future of well-being and stability. The opposition has accused Lasso of allowing a corrupt contract between a state company and a private business to go ahead, although he denies the allegations. Security forces were deployed outside the parliament hours before the president's announcement. The police in anti-riot gear has been barricading all the entrance to the country's Congress since the early hours of uh, uh, Wednesday. They're not letting anyone in, not even lawmakers. And as you can see on this side, instead, there are all the employees, workers that work inside Congress that also haven't been able uh, to enter and have been here, some of them, uh, since 5 a.m. in the morning. La Policía Nacional. Lasso invoked a never-before-used constitutional clause known as mutual death. The clause allows him to govern by decree until fresh elections can be held, a process that could take up to six months. Many in the country fear that the decision made by a very unpopular president could spark a return of violent mass protests that rocked the country in 2022 over the cost of living. The head of Ecuador's military warned that his forces will act firmly against any violence. The decision of the president to dissolve the National Assembly is based on Article 148 of the Constitution. It is therefore subject to a constitutional norm and must be fully and completely respected. Ecuador's main opposition party said that while Lasso's use of the mutual debt clause was illegal, they won't challenge it in court. The president knows he was going to lose because we had the votes to remove him. So in a cowardly manner, he preferred to sign an unconstitutional decree. Yet we believe this is an opportunity for the people to elect a government that will work for them. But other parties did start a challenge in the courts, and the country's powerful indigenous organization, Konaye, said it will mobilize against any decree by the president they might reject, leaving Ecuador in a state of high political tension and uncertainty. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Quito.